and YouTube could help me. It makes it really difficult for me to function. How can you have a postpartum depression when you have two beautiful kids and you get to stay at home with them? Instead, I want to be happy and content, but I can't. You meant the world to me. I actually just did a live video get ready with me I don't know what you guys think of this makeup yeah it's very simple not a lot on there anyways tried some new product from hey babe um, subscription Amy sting oh don't even think about that do not spill water I have no idea what to make uh, for lunch but we did have um some breakfast early in the morning and then now i'm gonna clean up a little bit here in the kitchen it's a mess <sighs> um i deep clean stuff on a on a weekly basis and then i clean clean on a daily and on sunday and saturday i allow the house to be as messy possible i could care less because saturday it's my family time and sunday it's my self-care day because if i don't take care of myself and i don't allow myself to have a little day off i will go crazy anyways that's what's going on i'm gonna go ahead and fix some lunch for emma and then maybe we'll go for a walk um, maybe we'll do something interesting Oh, and it's my fault because I trusted her with a bottle of water. Why? Why do we create mess, Emma? Why? Look at me. Miss Thing. Emma, I'm talking to you. Why did you make a mess? Huh? May I ask you? Of course. Nope. She knows what she did wrong. That's a no-no. Why did you do that, Emma? Did you want to clean up the table? Is that what it is? Got water all over the floor. Emma. Emma. Why did you do that? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, is that why you did it? Okay. What am I going to do with her? Nothing. I can't do anything with her because she's a toddler. And that's what toddlers do, you guys. They create mess. Constant mess. Oh, actually, I have her noodles from yesterday. Uh, I'm going to make us some nice lunch. But until that happens, I will give her a snack what are you doing Emma mm -hmm. yeah can I have a binky that's not yours by the way that's Jacob's okay. all right we're gonna have binky yeah? You wanna go go? <laughs> Made some delicious pasta just now. My signature recipe. Maybe one of these days I'll post it. I didn't use the instant pot this time around. <clears throat> and no, I did not film it either. I had a screaming baby and a whiny toddler and a needy cat and a needy husband. Actually, the husband is quiet. The baby was crying a lot. He constantly needs me to hold him. I don't even know what to say anymore or what to do anymore because if anybody has any suggestions of what to do with a child that constantly wants you to hold him or her, let me know because I can't handle this anymore. I literally, I, I wear him, I cannot wear him in a kitchen and if Ryan's holding him, it only lasts for 5-10 minutes at the most 
and he starts screaming. Hopefully she'll eat food. I'm hoping and I'm praying to God that she will actually eat food because I'm about to lose my mind if this child does not eat. She will eat fruits and vegetables, but she will not eat any meat. Well, I'm lying. She will if it tastes good. struggle with the toddler is really real and then there's another video that I wanted to put up and I've been avoiding putting it up it's the postpartum depression I most definitely and I know that I do have it because I was diagnosed with it it makes it really difficult for me it makes it really difficult for me to function let alone deal with the toddler that is giving me a hard time. I never would hurt my children or my family, but I feel like I'm worthless, literally, that I am horrible mom because my child does not eat and I'm not able to pay attention to both of them at the same time and I'm not doing something correct, but that's what my doctor explained. That's uh, one of the biggest symptoms of postpartum depression. There's nothing I could do about it except uh, take medication and self-suit, meaning medic meditation, um, walking, exercising. That's the only thing that pretty much could help me at this point. But sometimes my anxiety gets so big that I'm like in tears half of the day. I don't even think most of my family members do not know that I have that. This is the first time I'm actually opening it up this is the first time I'm opening up on it. Um, since having Jacob, that was one of the biggest reasons why I have not vlogged or posted even in my any of my cleaning videos because it's really hard for me to get up in the morning. It's just literally get up and do anything. I could get up and function, but other than that, I just take care of my kids and I just do the the maximum amount of things that I need to do for my children. And then as far as when it gets to me, I I had to pause. I had to pause on my dreams and my goals and what I want to do. We absolutely worth it for me to have this postpartum depression. I have this amazing child. And people would say like, oh my God, how can you have a postpartum depression when you have two beautiful kids and you get to stay at home with them. Yes, that is very true. But then when your child cries nonstop and always wants you to hold him and you need a peace and quiet for five minutes to yourself, when your husband gets home, you just want five minutes for yourself and you can't get that because he wants it still with anyone, you guys. And then that one will give me a hard time about eating, and everything else in the world. She will not listen to me. When I spoke to my doctor before I left Philly, I was prescribed medication. I am on medication. It's helping me a ton. That's how I'm able to pick up the camera and actually talk to you guys and actually do anything at all. Uh, when we were in Philly, right after I had Jacob, after my mom left, like maybe like two, three weeks later, four weeks later, it just hit me like a rock. And I wasn't able to move. I wasn't able to do anything about it. <sighs> so if I seem odd and frustrated and um, like I'm about to have an anxiety, I do. And this is the reason why. Because I have postpartum depression. There you go. I opened up and I said about it. And I don't want anyone judging me and telling me and telling me what to do and stuff like that. This is what it is. You know. I'm not sure if I should do a detailed video about it. 
in depth of what's going on but I hope I'm not alone with this I'm hoping and I'm praying I'm not alone and maybe you guys in the community on YouTube could help me walk through it and I thought to myself vlogging every day starting now in June and I don't know how long it's gonna be you know just it will help me it helps me a lot because I feel like I'm alone all right I'm gonna go clean the kitchen and I'm gonna go for my daily walk with my dog because I need that little space peace and quiet <clears throat> I've put Emma to bed. I've nursed Jacob. I put him to bed. You know, having two little kids, they're so different personality wise. Hey, Chloe. Um, Emma sleeps through anything. Jacob will not sleep. He's a very light sleeper. You can't move, you can't make any noises. He will wake up immediately. He's just like me. Emma is a deep sleeper. She'll just sleep and that's it. But maybe he'll outgrow, hopefully. So, so far what we're doing right now, we're just having some tea and some cookies. You guys remember Pantro? Yeah, buddy. Good kitty cat. Brush your teeth. It's time to say goodnight. It was an interesting day. <sighs> Tough. It was a bit tough. Yes, I have a vacuum in the middle of my house. I vacuum literally constantly because my dog sheds. My dog sheds a lot. Um, I actually had to give her a baby Benadryl, actually her Benadryl that was prescribed for her because she has such bad allergies that to the point that she's chewing her skin off. So she's asleep now. All right, my friends. I want to say good night. Thank you for watching. Thank you for connecting. And thank you for supporting. <sighs> I finally opened up about my anxiety and my postpartum depression. And uh, maybe I'll make a video of how I deal with it. Or maybe I'm just going to vlog. Maybe it will help someone else. And most likely it will help me. I need you guys more than you need me sometimes, I feel like. I just hope I'm not alone. This postpartum has been so difficult. There's moments that I want to be happy and content, but I can't. I'm going to go try to sleep. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Good night. You meant the world to me